Hey guys, it's John here, and welcome to another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Today I'm playing Infected on Dome and Hard Hat. Uh, I put two gameplays into one because uh, Infected is not a very long game. It's about four or five minutes long, at least, as when they let the timer run out. But when everyone gets infected and everything like that, the game usually lasts two to three minutes each. So I have two gameplays for you of uh, my best gameplay so far. Um, the second clip I go 12 and 1. I think the first one I go like 9 and 3 or 9 and 5 or something like that. But the score is not important. I want to talk about what infection is, and I want to talk about something that's uh, similar to infection of what I do here at UNC Charlotte on, on our campus. Um, so what infected is, uh, pretty much the game starts with one infected uh, teammate on the other team. The surviving players hide and must survive um, and not get killed or infected by the other person on the other team. The survivors who are not infected, uh, which are pro which are you know basically called survivors, the survivors spawn with an unknown weapon. Usually, the weapon uh, when you start the map, it'll tell you what weapon it is. So, usually, all the time actually, the infected have a tactical knife with USB, but they do not have ammo. They will never have ammo. But the survivors will start off with a random weapon, uh, usually striker or uh, magnums is what I've been playing with so far. So, when uh, a surviving member is uh, infected by the other person on the other team, each surviving person gains 100 points every time each survivor is infected. So pretty much that gives you a point to where, hey, you need to survive, if you survive, you get points. So, and if you kill an infected person, they will respawn, obviously, but they will, um, you will also get points for killing the infected person as well. The round ends when the last survivor is killed slash infected, pretty much. And the new round will start depending depending on the um, new player to be infected. So, that's that's pretty much the gameplay of it. So, uh, if you don't understand, please leave comments in below, and I'll answer as many comments as I can about, um, you know, uh, what, to, uh, what the gameplay is like. Um, pretty much, I have two gameplays here, so if you don't get it by the end of this gameplay, uh, just ask questions. I'll be free. I'll feel free to answer them. So pretty much, if the, the infected person usually starts with a uh, USP 4.45 tactical knife with no ammo, and also in in uh, this gameplay, you can get Juggernaut in this mode, which infected players and survivors can have a Juggernaut. I've never been in a match where both players have Juggernaut, but usually the infected people. When they have Juggernaut, it's more of a black finish on the armor, and the survivors have more of a whitish armor. So that's pretty much it. But the way this relates to what I'm talking about here on campus is, on campus we have a game called Humans vs. Zombies. Uh, some colleges throughout the United States might actually have this, but here at UN UNC Charlotte they have just in enforced Humans vs. Zombies, which is pretty much like a tag kind of game, except it's not tag. The zombies tag you with your hands, except but then humans, our ammo, we get these marshmallows, socks, and nerf guns. And what we have done is take PVC pipe and blow marshmallows or darts out of the PVC pipe. So you can get like a half inch PVC pipe, shoot the darts at the zombies, and pretty much the zombie is immobilized for 10 minutes. We have to wear head, the zombies wear a headband on their head, of course, and the humans wear a headband around their arms. So we know which one's which. Uh, throughout the game, the moderators, uh, when you get killed, you have to hand over a card, which means you got tagged. You're now a zombie. Usually, when you're a zombie, if you kill if it's kill slash tag about I think it was three people, three or four people, you can become a human again. But the game is actually really fun. If uh, if <clears throat> You don't have to use nerf guns, and you don't have to use CVC pipes. You can actually just use marshmallows and socks to throw at the zombies. So if you hit them, they have to be immobilized for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, and they have to put the band around the neck. And if you see a zombie with a band around the neck, they can't tag you. They can't do anything with with that. To become a human again, like I said, you have to tag about three. I think it's three people. Um, if someone goes to Charlotte, please correct me if I'm wrong. Because uh, I've only done this one semester. I'm only a freshman at UNC Charlotte, so I've only done this game once, and I'm about to do it again this ne second semester. Which this semester I now have PVC pipe 
and we're gonna get some mini marshmallows and more <clears throat> darts to shoot at the zombies. So pretty much how this game is like infected is that zombies here starts out with only one person. It starts with the original zombie we call OZ, and we can't tell who the OZ is because he wears a headband around his head. And once he tags somebody, then the game be really begins. I think last semester, by the first day, there was about 75 zombies, which, in retrospect for the game, was way too much on the first day here. So the game kind of got out of control really fast. So the kings are hopefully worked out this semester. So, you know, if you want to get something like that involved and you want to learn more about humans versus zombies, uh, I'll leave a link down below to uh, something that informs you about humans versus zombies, and that way you can play with your friends, or you can play like on your campus, get it started on your school campus if you don't actually have it. So check the link, check the link below, and I'll show you about it, and I'll tell you, it'll tell you about that and everything like that. Well, <clears throat> and uh, what I have, uh, I have a uh, assault rifle Nerf gun, uh, which is like a pump action, and I have a bolt action rifle Nerf gun, a shotgun. A double barrel shotgun nerf gun and I have a, a pistol which is a nerf maverick uh, I recommend getting the nerf maverick of course because it's a it's a pistol it's easy to reload and it's easy to shoot <clears throat> also you can also modify these guns which modifying a nerf gun is majorly badass <laughs> if, you if you modify a nerf gun you might want to alright guys this video is getting long this commentary is getting long I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up the gameplay is over Alright guys, I'll hit you in my next Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Peace.